Good day everyone. I just thought it's quite necessary to put us through on how our CGP or GPA is calculated. It's not surprising that some do not know what CGP implies and some do not have an idea how it is calculated. It's just come up to them at the end of their graduation, they are saying, okay, what is the CGPA they are giving me? What is the class of GPA they are giving me? Why some are in the total dark as to what it is even, what it is? It is quite essential for us to know so that it will guide our learning, especially for those of us that are intending to use our certificates for, to further our study or you want to use it to secure one position or the other. Or you want to use it to apply for something, whichever way. So we have first class, we have second class, upper, second class, lower, and all of that. So we just want to put us put ourselves through how this is calculated. And very briefly, I'll be using uh, Potter because the Potter has been able to do the work up to a point for us. We just have very little things to do. To, for us to be able to get a CGPA. The Potter has already calculated GPA for us. But how the Potter also arrived at GPA, we'll look at it. And how the Potter arrived at CGPA, we'll look at it. And how we can also do that manually ourselves, we'll get it done as well. <clears throat> you, it is not surprising that, I mean, it's not new to us that uh, the grading system we are using is five scale implying that you either have a first class you have or you have second class upper or you have second class lower or you have third class uppers we use five grade scaling system as given by NUC and the score method we are using is from 0 to 39 you get F from 40 to 44 you have E now a, B, C, D, E, and F, they all have what we call points. They all have what we call points, that is, grade points. Any, in any course where you score A, you've gotten the highest point, which is 5. We will see how these points are used on the portal. They use this point to multiply our units. It will give them what is called weight grade point. Okay, now in a situation where you got yourself B is a four point, C is three, D is two points, E is one point, F is zero point. Okay, anywhere you score F, you have nothing to add in terms of value to your CGPA calculation while the unit will be used to compute your CGP, it will drop you while it added no value to you while this one on the other hand only had a significant value and the units will also be added okay now let's move straight to the portal we are going to be using this student account for example okay i have the result here opened this is the way you have your result as well okay this student registered seven courses first semester eight courses second semester at the end of each semester you have what is called grade points while when you are combining two semesters calculation together you have what is called cumulative grade point average that is cgpa but in a situation where you only have one semester it is called gpa that is grade point average now the way the portal does it is this you are giving grade point average for each semester and they are distinctive what do i mean by this the calculation of two points the calculations that led us to three two point three nine is only based on the results you got here the calculator I mean the calculation sorry the calculation that gave us 2.85 is based only on this result gotten here so this one is not relying on the content on the result from this one why this one is also not related to this one 
because they are distinctively they were distinctively calculated before you will have your cgp then you will add them together and how you go about the adding it is you will add this 43 plus this 57 and you will add this 18 plus 20 so after adding 43 plus 57 it will give you 100 then adding 18 plus 20 it will give you 38 so now the 100 divided by 30 that will give you the cgpa for this level but talking about gpa the person in first semester has this while in second semester he has this it is then possible that in first semester you can have 4.5 while in second semester you might have 1.0 because in in second semester <coughs> sorry if you score very poorly you will have the cgp here calculated on the basis of the poor result of second semester it won't affect first semester and in first semester as well if you score 1.2 it is possible for you to have 4.5 in second semester if your second semester results are on their own good because the calculations will be done differently but when you are graduating from school it is the cgpa that is addition of everything from your first semester of 100 level if you are direct entry your first semester of 200 level up to the last semester the awards, all of them will be calculated cumulatively before you they will arrive at CGPA for you. <clears throat> Let's continue with our explanation. Now, here, this student registered ACC 101. <coughs> but she got F. Now, look at the point zero. They now multiply three by zero. It gives us zero. As I said here, F is zero. If you look at it, F is zero point. Now coming back here, boss one zero one, she got C. C is a three point score. If you come here, we said anything between fifty and fifty nine is C, and that's a three point here. As as we have it here, so they now multiply these three by the units giving them this nine here it got she got d which is two points they multiply this two by this three giving them this six that is the way they did for everything here to give them this they now had it from top here down it gave them this they had it all the units as well give them this the number they divided 43 by 18 that's that was what produced this now for second semester they did the same thing in ACC 102 she got 47 which is D two points they multiplied 2 by 3 give them 6 give you 6 they did that for other courses then they added all of these points together they added all these units together then 57 might and divided by 20 give them 2.85 you will see that the calculation that gave us this did not go beyond this second semester why the calculation that gave us this did not go beyond this semester so it is very wrong of you to now be assuming that ah i am in 2.85 right now using that as a yardstick to measure your cgpa yeah my current cgpa is 2.85 no your cgpa is not only based on on a semester you have to calculate everything together we will still get there okay now in in second year this student came in here you see this course it's, it's a 101 it's a 100 level course while in 100 level here she failed the course she failed the course as f in 200 level she came back to rewrite it now look at it one course here has three units they had it here they used it to divide the cgp exploit it the same course is repeatedly 
offered A because she got F in 100 level. The three units resurfaced again. It's like old demon resurfacing again because the student has not passed the course. She must pass it. It's a compulsory course. Okay? Now, she got it F again. They added the units. They did not say, uh, no, she got F now, so don't add the units in calculating it so that it will not spoil. They still added it. Okay? And use it to divide the GP. It will still spoil it. You understand? So that's the reason it, it means a lot for you to know how to calculate this. Now, she got it as F. They use it to calculate it. So they, cal they calculated all these ones. Look at this. She got 68A, which was B. Hmm? And 4 point, they now say 3 multiplied by 4, giving them 12. They added everything, they're giving them 68. I mean 62. Now, added all the units 21. 62 divided by 21, we give them this. They did same for second semester here. Now, in 300 level, the same thing applies. 400 level, the same thing applies. Now, 500 level. Look at this student. The results that she has not been able to get from 100 level, she finally got it in a 500 level. ACC 101. Now, look at it. This course featured three times in this student account. Okay? And she could only get three points from them. Whereas, it has featured three times. That is... It has repeatedly been used to divide the CGPA three times. That is, they use the three units here to divide it. In 200 level, they use the three units to divide it. In 100 level, they use the three units to divide it. That means the course has become a problem on the student. And in fact, if the student is to offer the course, it will be like a nine unit course. And in the nine unit course, she got only C. It has spoiled her CGPA terribly okay now to calculate what is called cgpa for all these levels what you need to do is this all these points this angle add them all together from the lower level to the current level if you do not have results for current level you may leave it out but the lower level from the lowest level up to the point where you have results add them all together add all this wgp that is weight great point add everything together i have it added here in 100 level you see she has 43 first semester in second semester she has she had 57 look at it here 43 plus 57 and the units she had she registered 18 units, first semester and second semester, 20 units, you see, 18 plus 20, okay? Now, let's go to 200 level, okay? Look at 200 level, the, the point for 200 level. In 200 level, all the points you could, I missed was 62. Look at it here. And in second semester, all she could get was 41. Look at it here. And the units... Uh, were 21 and 17 21 plus 17 now in 300 level the same thing applies okay now look at 300 level she got 52 52 now in in a uh, second semester she was able to have 82 points you see it here plus 82 you see me hiding everything on the right hand up everything on the left down okay now i added it up to 500 level up to 500 level after adding everything and now some i i i accumulate everything giving me i added everything it now gave me five four eight all the units totally now is one seven two so when I divided this one by this, it gave me 3.186. And your CGPA will be, this is now your CGPA, 3.186. But approximately it will be 3.19 because this 6 is more than 5. So they will just 
approximate it, it will not be instead of six, it will not come here, it will not be 3.19, right? So that's the reason we now have this total CGP will not be 3.19, right? That's the CGP she graduated with. Whereas if you come to a 500 level here, if the student had been deceiving herself that, yeah, my CGP, my CGP is now 4.0 second semester 500 level, 4 point, ah, I mean 4 pointer, you know, she would have been deceiving herself because this 4 point is only on the basis of the second semester 500 level. And that is not what the school wants. The school, you are the one that scored bad grades in bad semesters. They will add everything for you before giving you your CGP. Okay. So after adding everything, she only got 3.19. Now, the next question is, this 3.19, what does it imply? Okay. Now, as I said, we are using a five scale grading system. Anytime your CGP is between 1 to 1.49, you will go graduate with what is called a pass. When you graduate with a CGP of one, between 1.5 to 2.48, your CGP is going to be third class honors. Uh, no, I graduated with third class, I graduated with third class. Now, when your CGP is between 2.49 to 3.49 you graduate with what is called second class honors lower division that is 2-2 two -two. they call it 2-2 two -two. now if your cgp is also between 3.5 to 4.49 you graduate with what is called second class honors upper division also known as 2-1 if your cgp is between 4.5 to 5 you graduate with what is called first class okay now let's look at this person's results she graduated with 3.1 now looking at this arrangement now our result falls between this right so which means that she ended up with second class honors so that is actually how to come up with your the calculation of your CGPA okay and it is to is to get us serious on our academics sometimes when you especially when you are in second class upper okay that is when your CGPA is between 3.5 to 4.49 if you are scoring anything less than B it will be dropping your CGPA, especially a three unit course. It will drop your CGPA, it will drop it down once you eat 3.5 between 3.5 to 4 points. You must not score less than a B, it will drop you down. And once you eat four points upward, if you are scoring B, it will be so very insignificant and to get to a point like if you are eating 4.4, 4.3, scoring B will be dropping you. You can do the calculation yourself, okay? Now, for a first class student, anytime you score a B, it is automatically going to drop you down. You must keep scoring A so that you keep helping you to grow, okay? That's how to go about calculating your CGP. I just thought this might be helpful. So if it is, please share with others and please like, subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much.